everyone. Welcome back to this month's Two Minute Tip. Carving out time at the end of your lesson to review all the things that you've talked about and the key vocabulary is very helpful for our English learners. One way to do this is to invite your students to have conversations with each other based on a question that you propose, and then write their answers down on an exit ticket. The questions could include, what did you learn today? What questions do you still have? Or how did today's lesson connect with your life? While this seems like it's a simple, straightforward activity, it's actually easy for kids to get off topic or to be too anxious to engage in the conversation without appropriate support. This month, we want to highlight a simple strategy that provides the support for your students as they speak and write. It's a word splash. A word splash is a quick vocabulary brainstorming session. The teacher simply asks students questions like, what are some new words we've learned today? Or, what are some big academic words that you want to use in your conversations and in your writing? Then the teacher records these words on the board. As the teacher does this, they might include a sketch or a gesture that goes with the words, or review the definition, or a synonym that goes with the words. All of this reinforcing vocabulary and also providing spelling support for your students. Let's take a look at how this strategy can be used to wrap up a fourth grade lesson. Boys and girls, we just read the article about Danielle, who's a wildlife biologist. You used great reading strategies as we were reading. And now we have to speak and write as well, because we need to do all those skills in our classroom. So we're going to talk to our partner about these two sentence frames, and then we're going to write about them. Thinking about this article, we're going to say, I learned blank, and share one fact you learned. And then you will finish this statement, I wonder blank. And you can think of something that you're still curious about after reading this article. When we speak and write, we want to use the big words that we're learning. What are some big words from this article that you might want to use when you speak and write? Let's splash these up on the board. Let's do a little word splash before we speak and write. Yep. Environment. Environment. Very important when we're talking about biology. It's a great one to use. What other words? Advised. Advised. Ooh, why was that word important? Who gave her some advice? Who advised her about her career? Her dad tells her to, like, he kind of directs her where to go. Her dad, very good. Um, characteristics and landscape. Very good. Characteristics and landscape. What other words? Management. Management. Very good. That's an important one related to her career. Any others? Surveys. Surveys, because she surveys the birds. Very good. This is an excellent list of big academic words. I'm so proud of you for coming up with that list. So with these words in mind, I want you to turn to your shoulder partner and answer these sentences. And then after we talk, we will write. Okay? We love this strategy for so many reasons. It builds vocabulary, it helps students overcome spelling struggles, it scaffolds the speaking and the writing that happens in your classroom, and it lowers the anxiety levels of students. It also establishes clear expectations and ensures rich conversation and writing. But most importantly, it's simple, easy, quick, and it produces great results. Remember, supporting English learners doesn't have to be complicated but it does need to be intentional. Think about where you could integrate a word splash this week and watch your students excel. If you found this tip to be helpful, please like the video and share it with a friend. We want all teachers to know about these important strategies for our English learners. Thanks for watching.